Hello. Welcome to Bible study today. This week, it's so great to be with all of you. So this week, we're going to be taking a look at John chapter 1, verses 43 to 51. And um, this story uh, picks up where we left off last week and kind of moves to the calling of the disciples, where Jesus is calling his first disciples. So today we'll read the text, and I want to spend some time talking about um, being a disciple and what that means. So this is John chapter 1, verses 43 to 51. The next day Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him about whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to them, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. So like I was saying, this passage is all about discipleship, and it's about Jesus calling his disciples. And just some things that I think are, are worthy to note here within the text. Um it's really interesting that the text uh, seems to portray that that Jesus um, calls Philip and tells Philip to follow him, and Philip just stops everything that he's doing and goes and follows him. Um, and then it's interesting that then Philip goes to Nathaniel and asks Nathaniel to um, to come and meet Jesus as well. Um, when I think about this, I think about this text. Ultimately, what I think about is the idea that we are all called as disciples. Um, and what does disciple mean? Disciple in the original Greek actually translates to lifelong learner. And so essentially what we're what we're doing in our sense of discipleship is we're committing ourselves in a lifelong relationship with Jesus, learning how to follow Jesus, how to live out our faith. Discipleship, first and foremost, I think, is about intentionality. It's about being intentional in responding to the gift of God's grace in our lives by, um, by finding ways to be intentional in our own faith, taking that gift of grace seriously and, and experiencing that grace, living that grace, and sharing that grace with others. One of the... Um, there's lots of different ways about thinking about discipleship. And one of the ways that I really appreciate is um, from a group called 3DM. Um, you can go ahead and look them up, 3DM Discipleship, um, where they talk about um, this idea of discipleship and, and how it gets played out in, in our lives and in our faith communities and, and how do we do discipleship. Um, but basically, they, they break discipleship up into three different expressions in our relationship with God. The upward expression, the inward expression, and the outward expression. Um, and so I thought what we could do is over the next three weeks, we'll, we'll spend some time talking about each expression of our relationship with God. Um, but first, before we kind of dive into that, the idea being that um, the upward expression is uh, is between us and God, is our personal relationship between us and God. Oftentimes we experience that through prayer, um, through devotion, um, through worship. Those those sort of primary ways of, of, but there are other ways, of course, but primary ways of experiencing that upward relationship with God. Um, the, the second is the inward expression. It is that's how we um, see God in our relationships with one another. And so by coming to church, um, in our relationships with our family and friends, um, being a part of a small group or a Bible study, all of those things are our inward expression of our relationship with God. And then the outward expression of our relationship with God is how we live out our faith for others to see, how we show God to other people. 
Um, and so the idea being that um, how do we serve others? How do we help others? How do we live out our faith from the day to day, not just um, going to church on Sunday or attending Bible study, but but by our actions, how do people know that we are Christians, right? Um, that's the outward expression. And ultimately, I want you to imagine a three-legged stool. Um, and think about each individual leg of this three-legged stool. And the idea is that in discipleship, that the up, in, and out represent the three different legs. And that ultimately, we our challenge in our faithfulness and our intentionality in our faith is to live out these three expressions equally. Um, that our upward, our inward, and our outward expressions are all equally as important, um, which is not an easy thing to do. And so we're going to talk about what are some practical ways that we can do that and just reflect on some some ways that we can live into each one of these expressions. And I think through the process, you'll find that there are some things that, that you do really well um, and maybe some places where you could see some, some opportunity for growth. So the upward expression of our relationship with God. That, like I said before, is uh, primarily what we do through worship, through prayer. Um, it's our personal relationship with God. It's the opportunity for us to um, to feel God, to communicate with God, to speak with God, um, to ask God questions, um, to thank God. Uh, those kinds of things are our upward expression. So I want you to take some time and just reflect on your upward expression of your faith as a disciple. How's that going for you? What are some things that you think you do really well? Um, what are some things that you think maybe you could do more of or do differently that would help you um, more fully to express your faith um, upwardly in your relationship with God? So this is time to reflect on that this week. And uh, feel free to send me a message, comment, whatever it is that you'd like to do. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. And then next week, we'll talk about the inward expression of our relationship with God. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope that you have a great week. Thanks.